Right everyone, I'm Patrick here. I've got a, a message from a, from Al Fox 94 the other day. Well, it wasn't a message, it was a comment on one of my videos and he said, uh, I think it was my crossbow video. He said, in a hunting situation, a hunting survival situation, what would I take right, out of an air rifle, a bow, or a crossbow, if that was your only options. So, I said I'd do a video on it, so, I thought about it, and really it all comes down to what country you're in, and I think how many people you're with. Because, uh, why I say what country is, in the UK, there's only about one or two animals that you'd need a bow or a crossbow to kill, which is deers, you know, possibly a badger or something. <laughs> you know, we ain't got a lot of big creatures that uh, you'd need those kind of weapons to kill, you know, or like a pheasant, but an air rifle, an air rifle will kill a pheasant perfectly reasonably, but it won't kill anything like a deer or a badger or something like that. So, I was thinking about it. Uh, yeah, so, I'm going to go over some different situations and I'll say... So, first of all, I think I... Was, let's say in this country. So, if it was in this country right now, so if someone said to me, you got to go and live in the woods for a week, I think I would take the air rifle. Uh, a good, if it's in good condition, you know, well maintained, and it should last a long time, you know, unless there's some kind of freak accident when someone just broke, you know, that's going to last that time, you know, and, uh, you know, you turn up pellets, and, and you could shoot plenty of things with that, and live off those, you know, rabbits and pheasants and whatever, you know. But that's if, you know, see in a different country though, so if it was in America or, you know, anywhere where there's a lot of big wild animals, for a week I'd probably take the crossbow in, in America, for a week. Because that's, that'd be, I'm sure that would be reliable for that long and, you know, six months. But eventually, if something breaks on that crossbow, you're pretty fucked, to be honest. You'd, you know, you, you're not going to be able to replace those bits with stuff you could make with a knife in the woods, you know. Whereas a bow, you could either make a new bow, or if the string breaks, you can replace the string. Or even if the bow breaks, there's, there's ways of fixing it, you know. So to be honest, in a long, a long period of time in America, I'd probably take a bow short period of time in a, in a place like America I'd take the crossbow and in England short period I'd probably take the air rifle in England for a long period it could probably be the bow again you know just because of the amount of time it's going to last although the air rifle would probably last a long time because there's less to break on it you know like, you know what I mean when I say that, like, a string on a crossbow will eventually break, you know, eventually, the string, uh, but stuff on an air rifle is made to last longer, you know, like, you can't make a string on a crossbow last forever, it's gonna wear. Uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, short, short period in England, air rifle. Long period, bow, America, short period, crossbow, long period, bow. So that's my video. I hope you liked it, Brad. And uh, oh, don't forget to visit my blog. If, if you like my videos, you like my blog. Uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.